All right, man, let's talk about uh, Jared Goff. Jared Goff said, you know, he really ain't worried about if the Lions uh, draft the quarterback. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chin for notifications. We go live and drop the video, okay? Um, so, you know, that's what he posed to say. You know, I wouldn't be worried about it either if I was owed 30 plus million dollars next season all right i would not be worried about that as well but you got detroit Lions top playlist that was the video share the video subscribe to the channel said he really ain't like tripping on it i mean of course you're not for one he probably don't want to be in detroit to begin with all right so being at this point being in detroit he probably like bro i don't i don't want i don't want to be here no way you know he probably like, I don't want to be here no way, man. But like I said before, he's still going to get his 30 whatever million dollars next season. So Malik Willis or Matt Carroll, or Carson Strong, or Kenny Pickett, or Zapp, Bailey Zappi, or whoever the hell coming out, you know, he really, I wouldn't be tripping about it neither. You know, for one, I went from L.A. to Detroit. You know, taxes is way cheaper. But other than that, man, uh, you know, Everything else a downgrade. So he probably just can't wait to get out of Detroit regardless. He don't want to be here. Tell you that right now. I'm not saying that's, you know, that's a direct correlation how bad he is. He's just not a good quarterback. You know, but, you know, why would he be worried about Malik Willis? At that moment, at that part, or any quarterback at that price point, with the way the Forrest think about it, he definitely playing next year. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He definitely played that. He definitely started next year, unless it's some catastrophic injury or whatever, or he get in trouble. He definitely playing next year. So that ain't even nothing that, that he need to be concerned about. But like I said before, why would he be worried? But it says Detroit Lions, Jerry Goff says he has no concern if the team were to select a quarterback in the draft. Rumors continue to swirl around the Detroit Lions. Shout out to Eric Willard. Um, the Detroit Lions link them to potential prospect, including quarterbacks in the 2022 NFL draft. Officially one week away, all right? Detroit currently holds the number two and number 32 overall pick with the Lions quarterback, Jared Goff, choosing to remain focused on this uh, on his offseason training and not front office decision. He claims he has no concern of Detroit where to select the signal call in the draft. The thought of embracing mentorship role isn't something he allowed himself to focus on unless it actually happens. So he said, quote, yeah, maybe Goff said, I always like helping younger guys, but I have no idea. I've never been in that position. Goff says there was no way to control the talk of the Lions potentially select another quarterback. Team quote, what do I make of all the talk? The talk is always just a talk. It's, if it happens, great. I'll deal with it if from there and be the best player I could be. Goff said, quote, if it doesn't, you guys probably won't talk about it again. So it's the way the media cycle works. Again, I trust those guys up top. They express uh, confidence in me, so I'm excited. Team quote, I'm always trying to be the best I could be, he added. Always trying to prove myself right and prove the doubters wrong and be the best that I could be. But no, but no, any time you win three games, there's going to be a discussion <laughs> at a lot of positions, and the quarterback is no different. I've had to prove myself every year, every day, at, and work as best as I can and be the best I can every day. The Lions have repeatedly hosted Liberty's quarterback, Link Willis, Pittsburgh uh, quarterback, Kenny Pickett, for pre-draft or recently, you know, reportedly hosted pre-draft visit this week while the coaching staff was able to gather since of version of Willis after coaching at the senior bowl. Lions general manager bro Holmes doubled down again, said they are searching for a game changer in the upcoming draft. However, he wouldn't tip his hand on any specific intention outside of the Lions having their prospects narrowed down that they feel confident in their list. He said, quote, I'll probably sum it up like this. If there's a player that we've uh, buy in, and that we won. I'm going to try to get that player. That's just the bottom line. Home said, "Quote: So there's value in being patient and sitting back. You just got to assess uh, where the value is in your draft board. On your draft board, Holmes has developed a reputation for his draft evaluations even before joining the Lions. Prior to coming to Detroit, he worked uh, with the with the Los Angeles Rams organization from 2013 to 2020. Was recently served as director of college scout where." He was credited with drafting Aaron Donald and Cooper Cup. 
Uh, last time the Lions drafted a quarterback in 2017 when they selected Miami's Brad Kayle uh, during the sixth round. At this point, they're exploring all options. He, you know, Brad, Brad Kayle is, is Felicia. His Felicia from Friday is his mom, Bob Felicia. Quote, I've said, I said it, I quote, I've said all positions. So if the positions is quarterback, that's a quarterback. Just because often it's been stated that picking up there has got to be a quarterback or a pass rusher, tackle, and all kinds of stuff, Holmes said. But look. I've said day one, give me a game changer in any position. And there are multiple positions where we do see the potential game changer could be there in the future. Time will tell, of course, uh, with however they develop. But we will feel real confident in our coach staff to develop those players. But, yeah, it could be any position. Like I said before, man, uh, but the, see, Dante Parker said he chose to be traded from Miami to the Patriots, okay? Um. So, you know, you already know, man. I ain't, man, the Lions always trying to overcomplicate stuff, uh, you know, or they trying to simple, simplify stuff. So we'll see. You know, you know, I will be concerned if you was making $30 million and you was concerned about a rookie coming in, knowing how frugal this organization is, I will be concerned if, you know, that affected you. So it is what it is. Anybody thinking Jared Goff the long-term answer, well, we just going to have to see next season. And if he is, you take a quarterback, use it as capital, you build him up, and then, you know, just figure it out down the road and flip him. That's what Patriots always done with Ryan Mallett, uh, Brian Hoyer, Jacoby Brissett, Jimmy Garoppolo, Matt Castle. They always had solid backups, and most time, if they was worth anything, they flipped them. They flipped them. So, they flipped them. So, um, Something you gotta look at, but um, like I said before, he may he gonna he he don't want to be in Detroit. He here for his money anyway. And I ain't even mad at him. Get your get your paper mine. Get your paper mine. So you gotta stay here and get his paper, man. I ain't even really mad about it, dude. You know, get your damn money. You know, and you know, you get your money. Uh, save and enjoy it, whatever. If he win, if he won a Super Bowl here, then I'm for it. But well, I seen last season, I don't think so. For Jared Goff, everything got to be right. He's starting to be injury prone. He's getting older, you know. So I'm going to give him the recipes for not having much success. But like I said, hey, what do I know? All right. But I would be concerned if – I would be concerned if uh, if he was concerned about – uh if he was concerned about – uh. A rookie coming in. I would be concerned. So, um, but other than that, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and that subscribe button, the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live, we drop the video, financial support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, memo CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. I appreciate that, man. Other than that, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I've got business question, quiet response, or video plus. All my social media links, description. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you think in the comment section. One time for the one time. Peace.